Good evening, everybody. I hope you can hear me. All right. So while I am uh, like to wish you here a very good evening, I hope you all had a good rest and after your dinner in here, would do appreciate if you could share this in your timeline and we will start very, very shortly. That's right. That's right. Yep. So thank you for coming tonight and I see our regular members are here too, not to see. So if you are in the uh the comment section there just shout out and know where you're listening from and if you're a first time listener do type one so i want to make sure that you are listening to me for the first time do type it in there and let me know where you're listening from R really appreciate for that one and tonight the topic is going to be a little bit more backwards kind of uh, thinking in here and i prepared something that i think uh, to share with you tonight in here about my experience in the market and I think many of you would uh, probably have a little bit of different perspective I suppose after hearing from uh, what I have to offer and what I have to share with the uh, members in here so a very good evening to all of you I hope you're all nicely uh, in your best restroom I suppose uh, best resting area in here all right, just a couple more minutes, a couple more seconds in here and just off me to sharing in here and now uh, we're going to start right now. All right. Okay, so let's get started everybody. Okay. Welcome tonight. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the live FB. That's right, the live FB of Martin T.F. Wong in here. And tonight we will have another topic which we did leave off from where we uh, you know, were talking about. That was on the 23rd of June about dividend portfolio. I did have some question people coming back in here. How to, do we sort of know how much of the amount? And tonight is definitely to address this issue. Now, remember early on, on the 23rd, we were talking about what kind of shares. I'll also flash it and also talk about why dividend. That's right. So tonight, uh, some of you may be out, but if you are, do have the uh, browser available. We'll be doing some exercises too to ensure that you really grasp the levels of the information that I'll be sharing with you. So make sure you have your handphone and uh, on one side listening to me and probably have another browser perhaps to use some of the online tools which I will share with you tonight. That's right. So tonight is definitely on how much money to live to uh, how much money to invest to live off your dividend. That's right. Now many of you who are uh, listening in here now you probably would already know or some of you may not know so that's great and for those of you who do not know perhaps in this uh, tonight's talk this will give me an example how we can use the information that I'll share with you will help you definitely but a little bit more on uh, what we do if you are first time listener in here do type out uh, one uh, so we do know and do join our telegram chat room for the free stock market information where you'll be updated in here and also don't forget to join our youtube that's right subscribe to youtube so all information will be available uh for the and uh for you those of you who are first time don't forget uh to join our smart roby here for our all information all rich feature stock market application for both sgx and KLSC, and you will get 200 credit when you share it with your friends and of course not to forget our current collaboration with Rakuten Trade uh, Rakuten Trade in here for a new account opening Rakuten uh, use the promo code in here and you stand a chance of winning a 50 ringgit brokerage account so that's uh, where we are in here and again uh, we have something very very uh, special for all new joiner to Rakuten and also Smart Roby. Let's begin this more uh, this evening here with the uh, what we have seen so far in the markets. Now, right now, for the first half of the uh, second half of 2020, in here, the uh, a lot of the economists are talking about the Malaysia slump. Uh, right now, I think many of you would have known because of the COVID 
19 cases and the Delta variant, which to today we hit another record. Of course, I'm not going to talk more about this very bad news. I think many of you would have heard from your own social media in here. But what's more important about is where are we heading? So tonight I'm going to share a bit on the background where we're heading and perhaps some of you may want to engage on some of the uh, lesson learned that I'm going to talk about for you tonight in here. So definitely what we have seen so far is the economists uh, intend to uh, downgrade perhaps the GDP growth in here. So we were targeting 2021 to be a 4% and so far we were around 3% and recover to about 3%. But well, let me show you where we are to, to, uh, tonight. This is the GDP from the trading economy. So you can see, uh, let me just bring up the laser pointer here where we were and uh, in January we were 0.7 and then the second half of last year you could see uh, July we actually went down minus 17%, 2.4, 3.4, 0.5 for the first quarter, I do think coming to this second quarter, uh, this Q2 uh, 2021, I think will be probably a minus one or minus two. So that is the prognosis that we are seeing right now in here. That doesn't paint a very, very good picture. So you can see all this while if we go back to 2018, we really haven't done that well and we were below the 5% uh, mark. Now it's important. Why is this important? Is because we want to tie what we see in the GDP growth to what we have right now in the stock market. Now, if you look at the uh, the current sector, which is very hot, and this is one of the feature that we have in our smart room in here is the technology. That's right. Uh, technology, industrial product continue to be very, very hot in here. You can see technology last week were only uh, showing about uh, 0 0.2. And we are about zero point. That's why today you've seen many of the stocks like Penta, Revenue, uh, Great Tech, all has a very nice line chain. That's right. Uh, this is only Wednesday. We still got Thursday and Friday to go. And as I said before, in my breakfast show, I have talked about this. This is partly due to the technology stock retrain, uh, giving. Uh, a hit run in the US market and we have seen that already the US started to move up and this is from our breakfast show those of you who have joined me you probably know what I'm talking about so once the market started to uh, move up in the US market so you can see Malaysian technology stock continue to play catch up right in here I think the prognosis is, is going to be good uh, there are still a few more bars to go but do take note Malaysia right now the situation is isn't painting a very good picture which I've talked about it this morning in the breakfast show industrial product are technologies are the two sectors of course you can find this all in smart Roby. those of you who are first time have not used smart Roby, check out on smart Roby. just let me quickly show you what I mean here and uh, you can just go straight up to here go to Roby chart and you go right to the hot sectors this is the smart Roby apps in here and you could definitely see uh, technology industrial REITs utilities and telecommunication are those sectors which tally to in here but from our premium dash dashboard this is the one that you can see the differentiation between last week and this week where we see actually a trend really moving up and that's very important in there all right so uh, next we have is this uh, the stock exchange various various uh, market in here now can can the audience who is listening here can you tell me who is the one sitting out here which who is the one really in the interesting spot can you show can you share with me which is the one that you see a uh, really out of place here right i think it, it, it doesn't all right you, you can see very well isn't it which is the one out of spot definitely you can see the klci is so far from january to june it's minus seven percent take note of it we're minus seven percent compared to nikkei 225 let me just bring all right Decay 225 is 4.2, uh, Shanghai 1.6, 3.3 and SDI and Singapore is doing pretty well up almost 11% uh, and many of these are usually caused uh, by the handling of the economy and this is partly due to the uh, COVID cases that we see so far in the KLCI and uh, you, you know the KLCI hasn't been performing and this is also due to the uh, continued cases to think. Now uh, Bill Wilmai did uh, call me up today and he said Martin uh, we were talking about last week about the number of cases at that time we were uh, COVID cases was only around what's 
seven thousand uh, sorry about eight thousand so i told him that uh, i said the cases will go above ten thousand uh, he said are you sure i said yes because i do feel that the delta variant is back and the last two days we hit eleven thousand so uh, bill asked me again what is my prognosis going uh, uh going forward and he said you know what how many cases will we hit uh before you know the market return back to normal what do you think we still got another week or two more to go so my take is i told bill i'm not really optimistic about the covid cases and judging from the regional uh, statistic that I, I, I look at both in Indonesia, Thailand, uh, with the exception of Singapore, I think Malaysia will hit 20,000. Okay, so that's my, my analysis. I, I hope I'm wrong definitely because I, I don't want that uh, cases to go higher. But let's see where it is before the market turn back down. Let me know what you think about what I just said now, just now there. All right, so on the other side of, if you now compare... Uh, to the uh, to the other region right which is the one that really doing well here is the US market you can see the US market uh, US 30 is the Dow Jones which is up 14% has been uh, one of the best performer and you all know in our breakfast show that I cover every morning I did talk about US market and uh, using Smart Roby as your all investing app that will give you how you can move from a losing stock market which is a minus seven percent to a winning uh, uh, year to date winning percent i think it's important the sooner you realize that uh, if you move away where the fishes are less the opportunity are here then you will start to make money i think that's also important uh, many of our audience continue to uh, see this kind of opportunity with and my job is merely to share with you to show you where the money are okay where the money are now if you look at the five-year klci forecast uh, forecast is also very gloomy this is from the tradingeconomics.com so you can look back on the five year that we have you can see the mean uh, which is about 1620 and that's the variant sorry the variant is is pretty much in here you could see the mean is actually going sliding down it's a downtrend so if you use statistical model what we call regressional model all right and i know you can't see this so let me just move the chart up all right then you can see a better visual here okay uh okay so right now you, this is what we had what do you think <laughs> not so good isn't it so from the regressional model uh going forward even 2022 uh that the market is likely to break 1600 we're going to talk about the uh, shorter term market in here but the five-year uh, projection based on statistical model and what we've seen so far uh it doesn't paint a very good picture for the kfc i just think on it all right so you can see the trend is definitely trending downwards in yeah i do hope that uh, we we don't do that because else many malaysians will start to cut loss more which we already seen a lot of you know many of the uh, so-called public who is not well trained and didn't have any guidance still holding a lot on their shares uh, that they have bought many many years ago even going back to 2018 so we can see those losses continue to mount and here just on top of me here, the picture continued to turn downwards. So do take note of uh, what I've just talked about here. Okay, now going forward, right, uh, you can see why in the shorter term we have the uh, foreign funds. Now this is from our trade VSA package in here, very updated and some information very good for you. It's worthwhile the investment to spend the money to get a, uh, a package like this to help you to avoid where are all the big losses are, all right? Now if you are uh, doing very well, do share with me. If you're not doing so well, also pen it inside there. I would like to hear uh, what is in your talk so far now if you look at the current market the klci uh, continue to slide downwards and this is again uh, the green bar or green uh, column that you see here that's the uh, foreign fund flowing in and uh, ever since we're going back to uh, early mid june you can see uh, even as early as uh, mid uh, may onwards you can see foreign funds is already leaving foreign funds continue to leave and there was only one small uh, uh, buying that was only about three days ago so this does tell you a picture where we are and the foreign funds is heavily leaving KLSC so the 
regression model that I show you in here, probably some of the smart money already known. And do we see this current downtrend going forward? I know I'm painting a very gloomy picture. There are only a couple of silver linings so far that we've seen. And from the sector that I just shared with you in here early on, we do have the industrial and the technology and it's no surprise because the industrial and technology are falling a queue from the US market in here. If you're on heavily on the other shares, I think uh, some, that's something that uh, you should take care of. Okay. Uh, so if you look at that, that is the current KLSE leading indicator that we have so far right now. Now if you look at the KLCI, we started to see the uh, indicator again. This is uh, part and parcel of the propriety of uh, trade VSA. You have the red, uh, the, uh, red Pentagon here. The market broke to 1600, started to roll down and down and uh, we have currently the support at 1500. So the earlier gloomy picture that I was saying continued to be that. Uh, will we see that in the coming year? I do not know. Uh, then we, we will just have to wait on a uh, week to week as many of you following on the breakfast show as I try to explain to you using the Pentagon Guider, if not subscribing to the Trade VSA, uh, a Smart Roby will put you in a very good position. Now the market closed another seven point uh, down in here. Volumes are pretty uh, average and are now supported at 1500. Okay. Now remember, if we do break this 1500 level, then we'll see bearish days ahead. All right. Take note of that one. Now, continuing from where we are in the US market, which is slightly different, you can see while the ring, uh, the Malaysian market are going down, the US are going up. And since the Green Pentagon again, spot on on the 27th of June here, continue to push up. That's one of our proprietary that will tell you when to go in and go out. Tonight will be a test whether the market can break above the 35,000. But again, the talk of the town has been always inflation is coming, but the market, guess what, is adjusting to it. No doubt the Delta variant cases are increasing in US. As we've seen, US have been divided into two parts, the vaccinated US and the non-vaccinated US. And those who are non-vaccinated are majority are Trump supporters. And that's the one really causing a lot of issues, being almost many of the death come from 99% from unvaccinated. So we can see that this would uh, have little impact on the US market in here. And that's what, what we see right now, right? On top here, US market continue to go up because Delta variant can be handled even by the CDC. If there's a need, they will use a third booster shot for that one in here. So my take is uh, this uh, US will continue to be bullish and no doubt uh, we will probably have a 20% or more uh, going forward in here. Oh, it's already 35,000 the market open. That's great. Great. Okay. So you can see uh, this market in here continue to go. And those of you who have gone into the US market earlier, that will be great. If not, continue to follow us. All right. So don't panic whenever there's a correction that we see uh, uh, last Friday. I think there's a sell off when Japan uh, went into emergency due to the uh, uh, Delta variant coming in. And, uh, you know, the market continued to upturn with a spring in here because why? It wants to go up. That's right. So, and also the interest 10 year yield is also falling in here uh, because everybody is fleeing to bonds. Surprisingly, when they buy the bonds, uh, treasury falls. And when treasury fall, technology stock goes up. All right. So remember on the 23rd of June, uh, we started with the 5,000 uh, ringgit or 1,000 US uh, dividend portfolio in here. So we're going to take off and lead to it how much money to leave off. Now, just a show of hand, those of you who have, uh, perhaps you can share with me what kind of uh, amount that you all intend to invest to leave off your dividend. Just share inside here. Uh, if you're not shy, just share, you know, probably people don't know where you, who you are. Some of you may put in 1 million, some of you may put in 2 million. That's good because this is a figure in your head or how we want to start you guys off, okay? And by the time when you finish this, you will probably see a real p perspective where, where, where this is going on, okay? Now, let's move on. Why dividend share? So you can see in my background in here, these are some of the uh, big names, the big large cap in the KLCI in here does, that does pay dividend. Uh, Maybank, Public Bank, of course, some of them are Sharia, some of them are not Sharia. So just take note of it. Uh, then we have Samdabi and Genting, Press Metal, IOI in here. But let's look a look at why dividend stocks. Okay, now dividend stocks like it or not, it's, it's a 
passive income where you can earn money. And because dividend in such a way, you put it first year and you leave it there, it will compound due to the interest, right? Uh, just like, you know, sikit sikit lama jadi bukit. And that's one of the best way to hedge against inflation. So those are why we look at dividend stock. Now do take note, one of the cons about dividend stock, they are mainly large cap, okay? They are really large cap. And because of that, the growth seems to be uh, a bit muted, okay? Because if it's a bit muted, the returns will be limited, okay? The returns will be limited in here. And again, dividend is not always guaranteed, all right? Take note of this one. Re return is not always guaranteed. And those are some of the disadvantage in dividend stocks in here. So let's look at the some of the dividend criteria component that I'll look at. Definitely, first of all, we will look at is dividend yield, how much is paying, and also the track record, whether uh, the company has been paying dividend for the last five years or no. And also, lastly, uh, and five years and possible increasing. And third is whether the payout, the ratio is more than um, 25%. We want to have company that pay very generous, but not too much that they are not able to grow. Okay. So this is something that we want to see in here. So let me know if you like dividend stock or not. If you do like dividend stock, just type in the comment there, right? Just type in there. I'll appreciate it whether you have some dividend stocks or not. And those of you who are listening, don't be shy. Just type in, in there. I just want to know whether you have some dividend stocks or not. All right. And that's the whole point because the next thing we're going to be doing also, we're doing some exercises. So you're going to be getting ready to, all right, just type inside there if you have some dividend stocks. All right. Thank you on your comment in here. All right. Let's move on to next. First of all, what is dividend yield? Uh, dividend yield is whatever the shareholder will be rewarded by the company. It's something like an amount that is paid off uh, to the dividend uh, to the shareholders in here as a reward for being good someone to able to hold on, okay? So, and the dividend paid is divided by the stock prices. That, that's how you get your dividend yield because this is important because that will determine how much money you need to live on, all right? So take note of that one. So the next number two criteria is the consistency. All right, the keyword is consistency, consistency, consistency. Now, consistency is year in, year out paying dividend. Now, take note, company can only pay dividend when it can make money, when it's confidence, right? Just like if you work in a company, every year, if your company able to pay you good bonus, increasing bonus, that tells you the company is doing well. And very similar also in here, the nature of, of dividend stocks is able to pay year in, year out and increasing dividend generally for the next five years, all right? Because we want your money to grow and we want your money to compound. So we need to have this here. All right. Third is also the payout ratio. Okay. We want the payout ratio to be more than 25%, which means for every one ringgit the company earn, okay, from the net profit, uh, from the business side, they will pay you 25 cents, 25%. That's good, isn't it? For every one ringgit, you get 25 cents. And if the company is growing up, hey, this is a great company, right? If the company is growing, uh, growing, when I say growing, I'm referring to revenue and also earning. That also means that the prices will also grow. Okay, so where the prices grow, you get double, uh, what we call double strength. You get increased dividend and you have price appreciation. But it's also important that the dividend payout is not too high nor too low, which later on I'll show you a couple of slides where dividend seems to be very, very high. Okay, now, uh, Next one, the treatment for income tax on dividend, because this is the most common question that I do get. And what do you think, right? Do you pay income tax on your dividend? Type it in there on your comment. Do let me know. Do you pay income tax on your dividend? Let me know. Just type it in there. What do you think? Now, uh, a check with the uh, Japatan Haseo, uh, uh, the HR, uh, H. Uh, Lembaga Hasil Dalam Negara, which is the IRD inside here. They currently, I think, I, I can't remember the year, they started to trade this as a single tier system, right? Which means the tax paid by the company is final, which means they already deducted. If I'm not mistaken, it's 10%. Do let me know if I'm wrong or not, right? So no tax is uh, will be uh, deducted from the dividend payment and it's exempted from a shareholder. So this becomes a very, very attractive Okay, become very, very attractive. So what does it mean? Can imagine you get pay, okay? You get pay from your employee, okay? Of course, if you get pay from employee from your labor income, what we call that, uh, you have to work hard for you. Do you get 
pay, pay tax or not? Yes, of course, right? What is the IRD? The top bracket is 26%, right? The 26%, the top bracket. But just imagine now the company is paying you like a salary, all right? And you are not subjected to tax. That's one of the great things. And, and this is the whole issue what I'm talking about here. Income tax on dividend in Malaysia are exempted. So this is another reason why we all should start this, all right? And uh, we, we have to have a way to track out how much dividend. And this is, this is just the beginning of it, all right? So take note of this one. So how much do you need to invest? That's the question mark we're going to go on. So the first thing is that how much do you need to live on yearly? All right, how much do you need to live on yearly? Now do type it in there, uh, just a survey of among all of you. How much do you need to live on yearly? Now, one of the way to do this, uh, I got this from it, is to look at your uh, credit card payment. If you don't use cash that much, look at your credit card payment, how much do you pay off your, your credit card? And then later on, because that will tell you your cash flows, okay? How much you use. I assume you pay off your credit card like me, okay? Don't uh, buy an answer on so on your credit card because credit card is very, very expensive interest. Almost almost 18%. Uh, it will eat you alive, okay? Do not borrow money. Do not go on credit card, all right? So first of all, figure out how much you need to live on a year. Just minus off what are your fixed uh, 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 what we call fixed commitment, maybe paying your car, paying your house, and paying your education, and paying your insurance, okay? This is about, again, tonight is going to be a little bit of financial plan. Do let me know how much you need to live. Don't be shy, just, just key in a, a ballpark figure. Then, next is, we got to figure out the dividend yield of the stocks, okay? The dividend yield of the stock will be the next uh, thing we are looking at. So, you need to have two variables, very simple two variables. And next, you need to have is your what is this? A calculator. Okay, so make sure you have a calculator in front of you in here, right? A calculator. So I'm going to show you my digital calculator. All right, there you go. That's my calculator. You can see here. You can see this, my calculator. Is that how I keep it on? So that's my calculator in here. And uh, we're going to be calculating. Okay, so you have your 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 handphone or if you do have a calculator, that'd be great. Those of you, hopefully now it's 8 o'clock, can I drive anymore? Probably at home, you're watching this. So that would be great. So next thing you need to do is to figure out how much. All right, type it in there. Come on, put in the comments there. How much do you need? Just, just an example to live on on the yearly basis, okay? How much? I know some of you will say you need 100,000. That's fine because that's how we're going to be calculating how much you need to live on on the daily. All right, so let's get started, okay? Now, first of all, let's look at the poverty level. Now, the poverty level in Malaysia, all right, is for 2020 is 2,020 ringgit, okay? 2,020 uh, ringgit. Great, great. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, Thank you, Ho. Okay, so we look at the poverty level of 2,200, which means then what we decide for number four, item number four. Now, the, uh, those of you who have how much you need to live on, just type it in there. Uh, I'd like to know how much you need to live on inside here. It's it's good for sharing. I think that's that's how we, we, we learn from each other. All right, great. Okay, so my number is not that far, right? Okay, my number, I have it. So the poverty level is uh, 2,200 monthly. So of course, we want to be uh, uh, more comfortable, so we multiply by two times. So if we take that 4,400, uh, let me get my calculator here. So we have 2,200, okay, multiplied by 12, okay. So that gives us uh, 2,600, but we want to leave more comfortable times two, okay. So once it times two, that will give us 52,000. 800, all right, 52,800 is the amount that we, we're going to be looking at. So 52,800, agreeable or not? This is the amount you need to live comfortably. I know some of you may need more. I probably need more than this, right, than 50. But assuming this is only for yourself. I, I know some of you are thinking 52,000 for my wife, myself, and my two children. Okay, but by the time you, uh, what, depending on uh, your, what at your age, we're going to look at your uh, your life cycle too later on, okay? Okay, so let's agree on the 50,000 as a basis in here, all right? So this is uh, where we are, so we so what we do, and, and next, okay? So then the question is, what dividend you will, will you be looking at? Okay, what dividend you, what kind of dividend you do you want to get? 
Just type it inside there, all right? Do share inside there. What is the kind of dividend you are you looking? And I said before, this is an exercise, so be open. That's that's the best thing to learn, all right? Be open and the best thing to learn. So what kind of dividend you will be looking at? So I'm going to suggest here, all right, in here. So if you look at the Edge magazine, uh, the Edge magazine in here, uh, of this from 21, stay invested for long term. Now do take note. Uh, I know some of you who are not well trained and they want to go for high dividend yield. So you can see this on the Edge. You can take a picture of this one in here. Uh, ha ha Harlan pays about a 16% dividend, 9M13, Ewing 10, uh, Julian 10. I'll uh, take note, when dividends are paid, it get deducted off, okay? It will get deducted off from the stock prices, okay? It will de get deducted from the stock prices in here. OSK, Apollo, Petronas, UOA, Genting, uh, Falco, Velo, Gen, Haksa, Kosan Rubber. But remember, normally company that pays high dividend you, they don't perform. They may deduct the, the, uh, the dividend from the stock price, but guess what? The stock may not go higher. So it's also important to look at that one. Now, ideally, we want to have a stock that, remember, we say, uh, don't pay too high and don't pay too low. I know some of you are giving me figures, right? From our members inside here, 5 7%. Great, great. I think this is about 3% in here. So take note about it, right? I will have a suggested uh, portfolio for you to follow on. So this is a good part. Now, if you look back on the 23rd of June, okay, 23rd of June, I suggested some of these uh, potentially have both dividend payment and yet have a chance to grow. All right. So let me just bring out my smart Roby here. Uh, you can see uh, this is from the 23rd. So if you have not watched it yet, do go over to the uh, to the uh, YouTube and uh, look for the tutorial dated back on 23rd and you just type in dividend. You're able to find what I'm talking about here. So let's go back to KLCI and uh, let's check out the public bank. Okay, and public bank dividend. Okay, so we hit the public bank here. So, okay, there we go. So you can do it together with me. Okay, so let's look at stock fundamental. Because this is an exercise where you can do it together with me, then that way you will understand better, okay? So you can see uh, public bank dividend is 3%, all right? 3% in here, great. If you want to have a bigger dividend, no problem. Huh? You can go for 7 8%. Let's look at RC Capital. Okay, RC Capital here. RC Capital and uh, okay, RC Capital. So let's go hit the stock fundamental too. And you can see RC Capital is paying a dividend of 4%. So it's between 3 to 4%. All right, let's do another one. Uh, Nestle, okay. So I've given you option also, just some of the early one using the H, May 2020, they are least. So let's look at uh, Nestle. So Nestle one is how much? Nestle one is 1.74% dividend. So you have, uh, for me, my preference is, I don't want to go for anything more than 6 or 7%. Why they are sacrificing growth, right? I want to have around 3 to 4%. And these are the suggested KLCI dividend portfolio, which, where you have some potential growth inside there. I will also share with you the US side of it. All right, now let's go back to the same. So are you following so far? If you're following so far, just type four, okay? So if you're following so far, just type four. I just wanna make sure you're following. And those of you who don't follow uh, what I'm talking about, just type five. But it's great that you're able to have the spreadsheet or the calculator in front of you, then you're able to follow that, all right? Do, let me know. All right. Now, this is the dividend portfolio transaction recording, which I will give you a copy. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you where to get it. So, what you want to do here is able to record the payment every time. Now, here we go. We have the record date, stock name, sector, uh, the amount bought. Okay. Amount bought, frequency, how often they, they pay, dividend yield. Okay. 
dividend yield, uh, dividend income, because we want to find out how much is the dividend income. Okay, declaration date, payment date, and total dividend income. This is per year. Okay, this is per year. So I'm going to give you the Excel spreadsheet in here. And all you got to do is fill up this information. Now, the information, you can get it from SmartRoby or you can go to some of the public uh, 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 website, right, that has all the uh, dividend and how often they pay. And what you want to do is able to calculate how much you need to buy, okay, how much you need to buy. So for this example, just two stocks, I want to have a dividend income of 500 ringgit now, okay. How do I do that? So I'm just going to get my calculator. I will cancel. So I want 500 ringgit dividend from a stocks, okay, for a year. And in this case, the dividend yield for Nestle, okay, Nestle is... 1.74 okay so we have 500 okay you with me right 500 you divided by how much the dividend you 1.75 right so it's 1.75 we move we move the decimal two place one so it's 0 0.0175 okay so you need 28,000 ringgit okay so you need to buy 28,000 ringgit equivalent of nestle Okay, and that's how I get here. Okay, 28,573. Okay, are you following? If you're following it, just type one. So I'll make sure you're following, just type one. Okay, now do it together with me. Okay, do it together with me. Then you'll know how much to calculate this as, as a first example. Just follow me. So let's say we do the second example. This time we have public bank. Of course, if you have uh, a, a higher, okay, a higher dividend yield, let's say, uh, just now, uh, uh, some of you wanted a uh, 7%. So if you have 500 ringgit, you divide it by 7%, 0.07, then you just need, need to put 7,000 ringgit. So we say, hey, I don't mind, no, oh, uh, for public bank, uh, I have to put how much? 28,000. But if I buy a 7% dividend, and what are those 7% dividend? Let's go back to this list here. 7%, we have Petronas Gas, we have Tali Works, we have UOA, we have uh, Inno Pride, and we have Genting, 7% dividend. So I'll use $5,000 cheaper, right? So you can mix and match all this, okay? I'm not giving you a definite answer, but if you want to go for 7%, it's very important because that will tell you how much money you need to put out front, all right? That's important too. Okay, so many of you are following good, okay? And uh, just tell me you're doing this exercise together with your calculator. If you are, just type in two. So I want to make sure you're following it too. All right, going back to the same example we have just now, uh, we said that if I have 500 ringgit divided by 0 0.07, you will notice I only need to use 7,000 ringgit instead of 28,000 ringgit. So for those of you out front, those some of uh, in here want to have a smaller amount to start with, definitely you can do that all right so great great all of you are following that so let's go to the next example in here cancer and uh, we will use a uh, uh, public bank because public bank seems to be everybody have it the old timers will have it so let's put in uh okay let's go over here 500 ringgit divided by uh what is the u 3.14 right so it's 0 0.0319 and how much you need to buy you need to buy fifteen thousand ringgit 673 okay 15,000 ringgit 673 because this amount is the you add this two amount that will equate to how much money which is your small portfolio you need to have to have 1,000 ringgit of dividend all right so this again spreadsheet i will tell you where to go so this is very, fairly simple right i've done three examples for you here of course if you can find a stock that pays 12 percent i know some of the taiwanese company pay 12 percent huh? So let me just, so if I have 500 ringgit, okay, and it pay 12%, 0.12, and you can see I only need to use 4,166 ringgit to get 12% dividend. That's the small amount of money that you have. All right, do take note, smaller amount. That, again, that's why it depends how much money you have and how much dividend that you're looking for. Now you know. All right, I hope you like that too and I really share with you. Okay, let's move on to how do you want to get this Excel for those of you who wanted. So let's move on. Now this Excel, it will be available 
on our Telegram chat room. This is the QR code or you can type t.me at TradeBSA Trading View. So I'm just going to type it in there. You can get the Excel and uh, just write it here. Okay, let me just tell you where to get the Excel here. Okay, get pot uh, dividend. Dividend portfolio Excel from t.my slash trade trade VSA. Of course, for those members who are already in there, I will attach that shortly. Okay, I will attach that shortly. So that's the Excel that you need. All right, let's let's move on. Okay, to the next thing I want to talk about. In here is the amount. Okay, so let's say I need to have fifty thousand. All right, need fifty thousand. Right, we round it up to fifty thousand. Of course, I have to make it simple. We round it up to fifty thousand here. Okay, let's cancel it. So from fifty two thousand, round to fifty thousand, fifty thousand, and let's say we average out to four percent. Of course, if you have twelve percent, will be less. Ah. let's work it out. Okay. Okay, and how much is that amount? So fifty out divided by. 0.04 and there you go you need 1.25 million to give you a 50,000 ringgit now remember earlier some of you say 50,000 some say now of course if you can get a higher amount let's say ah uh, okay let's say cancel that let's say you have 50,000 right and you divide it let's say you get 7% and how much would that be that will be 714,000 so this way you start to think, oh yeah, how much do I want to aim for? Seven percent, six percent, seven percent, six percent, and that's important too. All right. So it's important you have this planning out front, and each person will have a different figure. But we want to start with a figure that I like is start with the bigger number first, four percent. Now what do you think? Okay, how many of you like to have? All right, like to have uh, this. Uh, amount now just now next thing i want you to do is to type out uh, how many percent of dividend you have i mean assuming the dividend portfolio that i shared with you early on average it out can you type inside there how much is your dividend yield portfolio that you are for me it's four percent what is yours just type it inside there i appreciate if you type it inside there what is your dividend yield all right let's do this as an exercise in here and let me know okay type it inside there then we can do a few example here all right so let's say we on seven percent now let's say uh we have i want fifty thousand and the what i i i i want to get the twelve percent okay so fifty thousand divided by zero point one two that will give me four hundred thousand all right 416,000. So 416,000 is easy to uh, achieve, isn't it? All right, so you can see a different. Wow, 400,000, I'm getting 50,000. But if I have 1.2 million, I only make 4%. Now, also, one reason why we want to the capital appreciation going forward too, okay? Great, we got some, some of your results inside here. All right, 5%. Okay, some of you are already keen 5%. From the audience of 50, so 5%, I think the answer is fairly all, fairly obvious, 0 0.05, that is $1 million. So you'll probably say, $1 million, where do I have? I don't have $1 million, okay? I'm already this age, where do I get $1 million? Okay, I don't have $1 million, but take note, all right? As soon as you start investing, right, it will come to you slowly. I think the most important one is, don't let the fear overcome you. A lot of people have this FOMO. I've seen many, many people. And because they hit a certain age, they don't have the kind of money, they need to achieve very high uh, rate of return. And that has been one of the many, many mistakes that you have. But do bear with me. Just, just stay with me and try to understand. Start investing, learning how to trade, tr uh, trading with momentum which I'm going to introduce in here, here. So we do know it's going to be depending between 1 million to 1.2 million inside here. Now, how many of you like what, what I've shared with you so far? If I like to share, you know, give me a thumbs up, okay? Because these are very simple, very important information, how you start planning and how you look at dividend, right? You know already, some of you already shared, right? If, if you don't, really don't know, you look at some of the comment by the other audience huh, who is watching tonight. 
50,000, how much you need to leave. Let me just move this aside so you can see it better, right? And the dividend yield. So let's look at on, on 1 million inside, 1 million or 1.2 million. Great, great, great. You guys know it better, okay? Uh, I know you are saying that this is better than dividend. Okay, so one of the things, next thing we're going to do is how to get to that 1 million. How do we going to get to Now, how do we get to 1 million? I'm going to show you how to. So this is where I'm going to give you this calculator. Okay, I think some of our members already know where we are coming from. Uh, let me just get this for you. Okay, so if so, let me just give you this calculator here. And uh, you, you see, I've given you a calculator. Now, if you don't just go over to the calculator.net, look for investment calculator, right? When you get the investment calculator, go over to investment link here, okay? Investment link. Because this is where I want you to do it together. Let's do it together, shall we? Okay, uh, let's do it together. So in here, I go to the uh, investment.net dash calculator. Investment.net dash calculator, all right? So if you're already there, all right, just type it, follow me together, okay? Just follow me together. And just now we say 1,400,000, depending what's your amount, okay? Now, let's say you all want to make 5%. 5% dividend you, average dividend you from, from the group. How much do we need? We need 1 million, right? So we need 1 million. So this amount, we're starting with 1 million, okay? 1 million. So 1 million in here, Click on to investment length, okay? Switch to investment length, right? And what is the starting amount? Depending what amount you want to start with, okay? So what amount you want to start with, okay? So let's say the amount we're going to start with is 50,000, okay? And we're going to contribute 1,000 every month, okay? We're going to contribute 1,000 every month, right? So we get there. So from here onwards, this is to calculate how long we'll get there to reach 1 million. So let's say our required rate of return is 8%. That is, has been the required rate of return for Malaysia for, Malaysia for many, many years. But take note, uh, Malaysia, for the last 5 to 6 years, uh, the KLCI average return uh, is minus 4%. How do I know that? And those of you who have known the seasonality which I share with you, so definitely if you just invest on KLCI, you cannot make it. All right, so that is why you need to think smarter. This required rate we return cannot. So let's say, uh, are you with me so far? You're with me so far? Just type uh, two, we're on this page. So one million, we want to hit one million, lah, make it easy. Or you can put 500,000, just not depending what is your dividend yield. So first thing is to figure out how much you need, calculate the dividend yield, then after that your target, how much do you need to start with? So you stick one million, you have your required now remember go over to investment link here this is the one investment link then type in eight percent and what we want to do is we start with fifty thousand but every month we contribute one thousand to our trading account or to our investment account so which means every year we will contribute twelve thousand and then next thing what you do you hit calculate okay so you hit calculate you start off uh with uh, 22 years right now for me I'm using uh, a 4%. 4% for my dividend yield for 50,000, I actually have to use what? This now. I go back to my calculator here, right? This now. Okay. I have 50,000 ringgit. That is my yearly dividend I want to uh, get for my dividend. And my average portfolio of my dividend yield is 4% divided by 0 0.04. So I need to put in 1%. 0.25 million, 125 million. So for me, my example, okay, 1250, and I start with 50,000 and I contribute 1,000 every month. So I calculate that and you could see I will take 25 years, 25 years to get there. <laughs> yes, 25 years on 8%, all right? So take note of it. Can wait, no, 25 years. That's why a lot of people see, uh, wow, I'm already so old, I don't have 25 years, I need to take a lot of risks. But I've seen a lot of people make the mistake because they need to take a lot of risks, they go for penny shares. And guess what? They cannot cut loss. They don't have the skill, right? They don't have the training. And they hear there, say there, suddenly 50,000 all gone already. Sad, right? But it's true. 
I hear many of the audience. Now, does this ever happen to you? That's my question. Don't be shy. Type it in there. Right? Type three. Uh, with disaster, three dash disaster, if it happened to you. Three dash disaster. This is a lot of it in there. Now, this is already compounded, okay? Because it has compounded. In fact, we compound it annually. You can use the same calculator and compound it too. All right, just type in there, three dash disaster. That's all I know. All right. So that's how I want to share with you a very important point. And you can see from here onwards, uh, the monthly uh, principal, you start with 50,000, right? And then you get uh, the interest. This is interest from the uh, from the eight uh, percent plus the dividend also, right? We are assuming eight percent comes from dividend and come from uh, uh, your capital gain, right? So that's why we say every year you must make money. If the last three years you didn't make money, then how? Right. Mm. If dividend yield be oh, there's a question in here. If dividend yield below EPF, should we leave the money inside EPF? Yes, the answer is. But I think you want you can choose, isn't it? Dividend yield, isn't it? Correct, not right. That's the best option. But if you put your money in EPF, can you choose? Cannot, right? It's whatever EPF gives you, isn't it? EPF is giving you this year. I can't remember five point six percent. Okay. 5.6%. Now remember, dividend is only 5.6%. That's on the return. But when you go for stock, you have dividend 4% and you have capital gain. Usually dividend is 4% and capital gain is about 4%. So that's why we use 8% in here. And this is why we use 8% in here. Definitely the return from the stock market will be better than EPF. Now, if you cannot do better than the EPF, then you have to ask the question why? Why is, my why is my return from EPF doing much better than my investment? Is it because I don't have the skill or is it because I listen to people or I always go in, fall into disaster? Some of you say that will have type 3 disaster, right? All right. So this is the, uh, so this is the part when you look at it. Okay, let me just push on. We're almost at 10.30 right now already. Now, next thing is that you need to determine your required rate of return and what you can achieve realistically. As I said before, here is 8%. Some of you say, hey, I'm so good, right? I can achieve 15% return. There is even people come to me, right? I want to double my money every two months. So if you want to double your money every two months, plug inside the calculator, you will see your investment return will need to be at least 40 to 50 percent a year then the next question is is this realistic or not okay is this realistic now if stock goes down now we are taking a year average in here alex a year average if you look back on the seasonality of the chart that we have again this is one of our premium package in here stocks goes up and come down but overall they do give a very decent return so that's why it's important to know this all right so realistically so this is what I've just shared with you here, 50,000. And you can see this amount is going. So with this schedule that you see on top here, now I'm going to ask you, your portfolio that you started, some may started two or three years ago, some after started one year, sunk already, decided to give up. Because why cannot cut loss, right? All going down the water. But the real portfolio with the right skill and the right knowledge, you can grow up like that. Would you like to have a portfolio like that? No. Yes or no? Type inside there. If you're yes, type in two one a portfolio like this two okay because that's important if not your portfolio that you have didn't cut loss stuck been losing money for the last seven years you hear that before or been losing money for the last five years all right so what if i can tell you you can half the period now just now we talk about 25 years to reach there what if i can tell you you can reach that goal even faster if you do this Definitely one of them is our intake. That's that's why I want to promote you. Our education in our three-day masterclass supposed to teach you to do this, okay? Proven way to look at US market, proven way even to look beyond uh, stocks itself. Now, we started off with 25 years with 8% just now, that example in here, right? Now, your job, okay, very simple, is to achieve 15% rate of return. Now, you just need to double up from 8% to 15%. And when you, when you achieve 15% okay, return, you only need to take 16 years. And if you can make it more than 20%, I have done it before. I have double made from 300,000 
to 1 million in seven years, right? And that's, that's I've done it a few times already. So I'm very happy with that. 300,000 to 1 million, right? On US market, Malaysia market, as well as Singapore market. And that's how you want to do it. That is something I want to share with you in my masterclass, how we are able to do that. Because we want to half, 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 half the period of our time, right? To be realistically, I, I know some of you may be even crazy. I want to do it in six years. That's like buying a road lottery. But we want to have some absolute guarantee of reaching your milestone of 1.25 million here that I talk about, okay? From a 50,000 with a require rate of 15%. Try it out, okay? So this is what our message is, is right. And our coaches and our trainer on this wealth creation will share with you how to achieve that required retain of 15% in here. Now, if you have seen before on our breakfast show, right, we are already doing right now 11.6% return with a win rate of 50%, okay? With a win rate of 50%. And that's what we are trying to do because we are trying to get that amount, huh? start off from $50,000 to go straight to 1 million. And we keep continuing to do that, that and that and that and that. And that's what the whole thing we are doing in here, right? Because we target 15% in here. While the KLCI just now I shared with you, right? It's not 3%, but it's minus 7%. So I always tell people, if one year you lose money, you already down already, you know. Let's say this year you're down 10%. So which means you're supposed to make 8% by right by following the stock market. But you can't even make 8%, you're down 15%, which means each year you need to double up. And that's what after two to three years, most people already give up the hundred or two hundred thousand dollars, right? They could have made money, they give it back to the people because they were never well trained, they never invested in time, right? They don't use proper tools, they don't have the proper coaching. You can see the issue tend to compound, right? So let's always say about how is your portfolio faring so far? Now we did a recent poll with our Smart Roby audience and I did ask the question, how many of you made money so far in 2021? And 41% all right, made money and majority of them almost 50%. The other, uh, more than that, they are 8% not even sure and uh, 2% don't want to know at all. So if you add those up, we are close to 60% of our people don't make money. So our 10%, six people didn't make money at all. But I've shared with you already in our portfolio trading strategy, we are already making money, all right, in here. So so you want to start off with the uh, 50,000 ringgit and you start off with three or four shares. That's the one we're talking about in here. And uh, we're talking about Public Bank, RC, CAP, Allianz. Of course, if you are uh, uh, Shara compliance, then you look at your stocks that you have. And this is something that we do in our investing and coaching to see how we can fit inside there. And why dividend in US? It's even better. Dividend investing in US is all started from the US side. And if you look back, going back to 1960, 1970, uh, uh, a return all right, uh, of just merely uh, $10,000 and you had it over 50 years, that will grow to 3.8 million. And that's the power of it. Of, of you know, Market will go up and go down, but eventually it will still go up. The question is, the stock that you buy, is it a good fundamental share? Does it has the technical uh, uh, signal that we talk about in here? I know people want to buy certain share uh, like it's really beaten down. For example, Air Asia, they like to buy this kind of shares, but we will teach you there are some reason only when you want to buy this kind of shares. It's also important in here, right? So let's look at the US side, our US stock dividend portfolio. Again, you can go over to Smart Roby in here. Let me just give you a quick example just to share it here. Okay, so you go over to US and you can go to, to the S&P 500 and you type KO, okay? KO here, that's for Coca-Cola. We just want to look at the dividend. So we send that away, click on that one, and we want to look at the dividend yield. And that you can see here, the dividend yield is 3%. All right, 3%. I do have a dividend also in US also. One of the good reasons is because we have a hedge. The ring gate is getting weaker as I've shared you before, right? We will hit 4.2 and uh, is it a point where, and like it or not, a weaker ringgit is good for Malaysia, 
because we are export based. So we are not in the best interest to have a strong, strong currency like Singapore. So keep in mind. So that's why if some of you who have diversified out in US, like I've done, now you know Malaysia only minus 7%, right? US is 14%. So you can see the difference between this, this two market in here. Okay. Uh, so let's talk about the human life cycle in here, right? Now, all of us are at different age. You know, you know me, if you see my face, I'm already somewhere around in here. But for many of you who are in your 20s and 30s, this is the best time to start. Now, let's say you want to go semi-retired at 50 plus age. Now, looking at that calendar that I talk about, how long do you need to start? Now, on 8% return with a $50,000 uh, 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 money that you need from dividend, okay, with a 4% average dividend yield, you need uh, to start at the age of 25 years. So because you take it 25 at the 8% dividend, right? And then once you hit 50 plus, you can enjoy life. Now, like it or not, everyone is different with our age and education and their belief system. But what we want to do here is to address this, to teach you how you can shorten the time frame from 25 years to 16 years and even 10 years just imagine if you're 50 plus and you can do that in 10 years hit your one million dollar which which i've shared with you before and right now as i said before the u.s market is very very promising we will have another six years boom now the question any question is that do you follow me enough to believe that or do you hear say and so now those of you who are our masterclass member would know you have benefited a lot right to avoid many of the costly mistakes that many beginners made i have a hear from many of you who have lost hundreds and hundreds and thousands of ringgit right because they did not participate in a truly coaching and mentoring program in here so you can see from our people saying about our trade vsa understanding vsa it's important to know about the smart money right and to be efficient trader or investor this is tom william father spread analyst saying that right you need to understand the market and look at the number of people who review us and the kind of teaching that we are doing to a more than five uh, about five star from 378 review those of you know and thank you again for those of you who have reviewed us uh, recently so my summary here right now is for you is to have uh, what we call a dividend stream okay so dividend stream in here required you first create the excel all right get join our telegram group i will put it up there for the dividend record so immediately after this you want to do that right next know your dividend sectors all right you know when they get paid out when you receive it get the knowledge get the education three dividend is a passive income it comes with dividend and you have capital appreciation now it depends where you are there are two stages one is you start off with fifty thousand to get to one million and after one million you enjoy life like me right now all right and that's where you but i'm still growing my money in here and i still enjoy teaching teaching you all this number four you need to start today on a monthly con con contribution in here where do you start definitely by following our program join our master class that's one way to do that all right and then enable easy planning based on your cash flow that you know minus of your debt payment know your your dividend yield how much you want to and how much you want to uh, need very important finally number six is that there are no tax implication as i said before dividend yield and uh, doesn't come with any aspect this only applies to malaysia right uh, you don't need to pay for that and that's really great beauty that's what i really plan to growing my money in the dividend way and also growing my money in the uh, foreign markets in here so you should and must act right now okay so avoid many of the self-defeating action that people sits on it and they tend to you know when they lost one small amount they they give up right or they you know put shares all over the place in here not being focused now it's important that these ideas are visualized and they implement it in your mind because very quickly once you finish listening to me you'll go back to your old ways and then when you come to december again i'll be asking you the question have you made money you know many of you struggle and say uh, no i did not I say why because of challenges that you have so you need to take action action is important all right 
in here. So the mentoring is a fast way to keep track. You can see many of our masterclass students who have joined us continue to benefit a lot more and life become more efficient because we point you with the right track and guidance here. So meanwhile, right, focus on knowledge and training, right? That's the reading in here. Our masterclass August intake is open for those of you who are interested. Right? And we have live session every day with our coaches in here. So it's important when you read and hear, but you don't practice. That's where you miss the big picture of it. Doing it, I think that's important. That's one of our things that we do in here and continue to benefit right in here. And we also have growth screener, give you a chance to double up your amount, required rate return, and the US market continue to be good too. All right. And uh, we continue to get falling. So uh, I will stop here. So that's my presentation for tonight. And uh, do give us a Google review if you can for the information sharing that I have for you. That's give you some idea about dividend and dividend payment to hit your retirement very, very soon. So I will take some questions if you all have regards to dividend here. And uh, if you want more information about what we do in our program, that's a number you can call 010-266-9761 for our August intake. Any question you have about dividend? All right. Now, if I don't get any question, there's a number here. You can call us 010-266-9761 and take action. Start investing your dividend so you can retire early just like me. Thank you very much. And I'll see you on Friday for our breakfast show.